Hi there, welcome to Pennywise. Pennywise is the home for the curious minds who are looking for life secrets from the Word of God. And today, hmm, today is a very special day. Eh? Anybody who's watching this message, just know that there's something in you that God wants to unlock, right? Because I, I didn't plan to record today at all. I just could not move on from each verse I was reading from the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. No, chapter 1, right? Every verse was like a prayer point. Every verse was like a prayer point. And at some point, God was like, only oh, record. The wisdom that God just was pouring down in my mind was amazing. And I started to give excuses. Oh, but you know, I need to look present. And God was like, do you think I care about all those things you're saying? And I got up, hmm? brushed my hair, and came to talk to you. So just, I'm saying that so that you understand the importance of this message you're literally listening to right the word is the creation that's the title of the word of course no, genesis 1 is about the creation how god created the earth but i want you to see where you like where your life has been lacking a lot see verse 1 says in the beginning god elohim i'm reading amplified bible in the beginning god no let's pray first of all lord jesus i answered your call I was supposed to be recording, reading, studying the Bible, but you, you know that there's somebody's life that you want to touch. And I pray it's not just one person. I pray it's a lot more people. Lord, I ask that with the same efficacy that you were teaching and revealing to me when I was studying the word, please come even more in the name of Jesus. Pour down your wisdom. Pour down your your power let the scale fall out of our eyes today help us to see to learn to know that which you want us to know ah liberate us from the shackles that the enemy has put us in because of ignorance oh god and open our eyes and our minds we have father holy spirit move move in our hearts move in our minds sweet holy spirit and as we read and study the word together we will learn we will understand and we'll be freed in the name of Jesus to pray. Amen. Now let's start. So in the beginning, God, Elohim, created by forming from nothing. Now listen. In the beginning, God, Elohim, created by forming from nothing, the heavens and the earth. And now that's the first one that hits me. God, the God that we serve, the God that created you and I in his own image and likeness, created, he formed out of nothing the heaven and the earth. And I understand the efficacy of this because I have a channel, you know, I have a channel where I give my own opinion. It's called talk to your homie. And when I started talk to your homie, there was no talk to your homie. Do you understand? There was nothing. I was in finance. I just knew that I like to write stories. Right. And I was writing, I had a blog before, but the blog was not yielding me money. It still was taking my time. It wasn't yielding me money. So I said, okay. So I, so I went for a party and I started to make videos, right? In the party. And I, my boyfriend, my husband now, but we're dating then, helped me to edit the videos. And that was how, or the video rather, and I posted the video on YouTube. And that was how Talk To Your Homie started. From there, you know, um, it moved to me giving my own opinions. From there, I started to make money out of that channel. I grew to like 60,000 subscribers. From there, I have a vlog channel. I bought, before that, there was nothing. Do you get? So, I created Talk To Your Homie to out of nothing. The God that you serve is the God that creates something out of nothing. So, it means, and, and if you are, not if, since you are created in his image and likeness, you have the ability to create out of nothing something, right? So you need to understand the level that you are in, in Christ Jesus. Your God is a God that, look at it, he create, and it's not just, talk to your homie. I, I'm giving the example because when I read this verse, it clicked immediately, but it's more than just my channel. God created the heavens and the earth out of nothing like there was nothing and he created the heavens and the earth like the day i went um I, I flew the first time i ever flew in my life all the while before then i just thought like this the cloud i was seeing was the sky that's what i thought so when i flew and I, I, and we got up in the clouds and i realized that we chill there's cloud and there's now like a whole like space in between there was now something that looked that was like the sky, you get me? 
and I, I was in the plane. I was just like, wait, I used, I was stunned because I felt like that was it all the while I was down on earth. Do you understand? So, and only God knows if I go into space, I'll see more things, right? But that's the God that you said. Out of nothing, God created the heavens and the earth. Look at the earth. Look at how, look at the mass. Look at the continent. Look at the countries. But he did it out of nothing. I want you to understand that so that you understand that your God is a creative God. And so if per adventure there's, because I feel like in, there's, no, there, there's nothing that you're doing in your life that, like that you don't need the creative power of the Lord. There's nothing. Do you understand? If you're working in a company, you need to be creative. Any, if I employ somebody into my company right now and the person comes every day with a new idea that is smart, that will help me and grow, I will like the person because the person has been creative. So if you know that, if you know that what you're doing right now, you need creativity. Now tap into this power of God Almighty that is a creative God that created the earth and the heavens out of nothing. The prayer is that you pray is, God, I tap into your creative power in the name of Jesus. In my business, I create great and useful solutions, patterns, ideas out of nothing in the name of Jesus. The wisdom of the Lord is upon me today. My mind is open. I'm so creative. I know exactly what to do. When, I, when the world sees nothing, I see possibilities. I create them because I am a child of God. I was created in God's image and likeness and I create things because my God is a creative God. Verse 2 says, the earth was formless. It now, this, it now gets deeper. The earth was formless and void and a waste and emptiness. And darkness was upon the face of the deep, primeval ocean that covered the unformed earth. It was just ocean. So as in, look at how nothing it is, how much of, of, of nothing. It was formless. It was just water. It was void. It was a waste and emptiness and darkness was upon the face of the deep. That means it was just dark. Imagine just dark waters everywhere. Do you get me? And now the next thing that we now see is the spirit of God was moving, hovering, brooding over the face of the waters. And, you know, it's, it's amazing because what amazed me here is, is, is the fact that we... The, the Bible tells you that, or tells us that, when Jesus left, he now gave unto us the, the Holy Spirit to lead us, to guide us, to help us, right? Exactly. But now see, at the beginning of it all, in the beginning of time, when there was when nothing, 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 the first person we're encountering is God that begins to create something out of nothing, right? The second person we're encountering is what? The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord. Now, what, what is the Spirit's job? The Spirit's job was that he moved over the face of nothing. So, see, God had an idea. The idea that God had was that he saw dark, you know, darkness and water and a waste. And he, want, and he knew exactly what he wanted to create out of that waste, right? Yes. And then what was the next thing that happened? So the idea came and the next thing that happened after the idea was that the spirit of the Lord hovered, brooded, moved. So when you want to start something, you need to welcome the Holy Spirit to move, to move. The Holy Spirit comes and takes away doubt and takes away fear. You know, welcome the Holy Spirit. I welcome you to move in my home. I welcome you to move in my family. I welcome you to move in my business. I welcome you to move in my mind. It could be a battle. The battle could be in your mind. You have all these ideas, but you don't know where to start. You're so scared to start it. You all you think is just the possibility of failure. Yeah, I can do this thing, but this person has done it. This person did not work. That person did not work. That's when you need the Holy Spirit to come and move. Because God had such, such a perfect idea on what to do, but what he was saying presently was what? Darkness, water, a waste, formless, void. So he needed his spirit to move. The, 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 the Bible calls the spirit, the spirit of truth. He will come and guide you. The Bible, listen, the Holy Spirit is supposed to guide us in all truths. You need the truth in your business. You need the truth in your life. You need the truth in your family. You know, in my life, um, um, 
I'm somebody that sees, right? And right from a young age, right from when I was a child, I, I, I would just, I could see myself in a car and there's, and I have a PA beside me and my PA is, the funny thing is, it now, now, what I, what I know that I was seeing then was like an iPad or something like that. You get me? But then, I knew the PA was just touching something. I didn't know what it was because I was a child, you know. But the PA was touching, touch telling me my schedule, my, you have to travel. I, this was what I used to see. I say, yo, as, uh, maybe as, as far as things I can remember. You get me? Now you're traveling to this country, to that country, to that country. Imagine, Im, imagine a little girl seeing that. Mad, this is where you're traveling to. This is where you're traveling to. This is where you're traveling to. You know, and in that travel, I was speaking. I was a speaker. You know, I, I, I was going there to go and speak. But as a child, like, what do I know? I didn't know anything. But I used to see something. I, something I also I also see is is the fact that I used to see I see myself as wealthy. I don't know why, but I just know that I see myself as wealthy. I see myself as, as, as a child of God who will bless the world with my wealth. But when I look at myself now, hmm, and I look at what I'm seeing, it's very easy for that thing I'm seeing to wipe out of my head because how am I supposed to achieve it? Like everything that's happening right now does not relate to maybe the, the PSO now I see, you see? Now, but it took me how many years of my life to finally get to the point where I'm talking for a living. I'm teaching for a living. Um, I'm, I'm literally, I'm literally talking and teaching for a living. Do you understand? But it took me years of doing finance to get to now finally get to this point. It also took me years of going, going into uncertain parts to get to this point. What am I saying? I'm saying that when you have a vision and you need to work on that vision, the spirit of the Lord needs to come and clear the air. It needs to come and clear every form of doubt. Even for God to create the world, the spirit had to move. The spirit had to hover. The spirit had to come and take away every form of doubt. So you see, even in my marriage, I look, I'm kind of my husband, hmm, we're going to be very well to you. You know, he will, he will look at me, he will say, but I, I, because I know, because I see it, but when I look at our state right now, I'm just looking like, but how do, when you say how do, that's when the spirit needs to come and move. They said the spirit of the Lord hovered. So tell us, begin to pray right now and say, I, 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 I welcome the spirit of the Lord to move in my life, to move in my home, to move in my family. It could be that you in your house, in your marriage, you're going through troubles, you know, you're going to troubles. And that was not the idea of your marriage at the beginning when you were praying to God but even if you're not praying but now you know God and you know that you don't want to experience this thing that is the perfect time for the spirit of God to just move you know to move welcome the spirit say Holy Spirit move move in my life move in my mind some of us the, the, the battle is in our mind like we cannot see anything positive oh let the Holy Spirit move move in my mind take away every distraction Take away every fear. Take away every fear. The Bible says that God has not given us the spirit of fear. What he has given you is the spirit of boldness, the spirit, a, a sound mind and of love. Mm, that the spirit, that the Holy Spirit moves and begins to give you boldness. Boldness to take the step you need to take. Boldness to move, make the move you need to make. Courage, ha, huh? hey, uh, pray that the Holy Spirit comes into your life and just begins to give you boldness. A sound mind. Depression is in the mind. Depression is when, when all you see is negativity. Oh, pray that the Holy Spirit comes into your mind and clears out any form of negativity. You see positivity. Now you have boldness. Now you're making the move. Now you're going there. Now you're making the move. Pray for, you know, just welcome the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit move. Because see, guess what? When the Holy Spirit moves, what happen verse 3 says and god said let there be light and there was light so you see the the, the three people persons you know, or, 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 or the three people in fact okay let me tell you the three encounters better better puts that we are experiencing from the beginning is god 
the Spirit, and Jesus. Because we know that Jesus is the Word, yeah? Mm -hmm. So now see, God came with his perfect idea right here. Yeah. Then the Holy Spirit moved. And when the Holy Spirit moved, what was the next thing that happened? God spoke. The Word came. And when the Word came, what did the Word bring? See, God said, let there be light. And there was light. This light is an important um, prayer point. But I, but I want to read chapter verse 4 first so you see the importance now listen god saw let the blood light be no let the blood whatever god saw that the light was good and pleasing and useful and he affirmed and sustained it and god separated the light distinguishing it from darkness hmm? so now this first of all is the wisdom that God had. He knew exactly what to do. He had the idea, but he knew how to break it down. The idea was to create heaven and earth, yeah. The, but he, because he's God, he knew exactly what to do. He knew the perfect step to take. He knew that before he could start creating anything at all, he needed to see. He needed light. He needed illumination. Why? Because see, verse 5 says, And God called light day, and darkness night and there was an evening and there was morning one day and verse 6 now says and god said let there be an expanse of the sky in between the waters and let it separate the waters below the expanse from the waters above the expanse now this way i want us to just calm down listen it took light to come for god to see so when he saw he said okay now this is beautiful Initially, it was formless, it was dark, it was void, Abby. But God needed to see what he was working with. And so he saw. Let there be light, and light came. And then he saw. And when he saw, he, the next step was to now say, okay, now let there be an expanse, the sky. Why am I saying this? Because a lot of times our problem is that we do not see. The, this same Bible says the earth is full of darkness, and the people gross darkness. Your the the, the 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 what's that word now the help me god the 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 your biggest problem how about that might be that you're not just seeing there's darkness because it takes light like imagine if you come into a house and it's dark you stumble you fall you'll be greatly limited you will not even see the opportunities around you you might you might be stuck in one place for, for, for years because you don't see around you. So if you're experiencing any form of limitation, then maybe you need to see. And see, by now, we're children of God, be Bible scholars, right? We know that it's possible that somebody's eyes are open, but they really cannot see, right? Because there's, there's, there's an illumination of your mind. There's a way your mind needs to be open. So now, if you, if, if you know deep down in your I think we all should pray this prayer. That you need the light of God to see, to move, to create, to run your business, to succeed in life. Begin to ask that God sends down his light. Oh Lord, illuminate my mind. Illuminate my life. I, I, I was talking to somebody very dear to my heart. And I began to, to ask her, hmm, you know, she's going to one church. Because, I mean, because she's dear to my heart, I've told her about this church. Like, girl, you got to go to church. You can't just be here. You're not reading your Bible, babes. I have, as in, she says, okay. Because, I mean, I haven't called someone that should talk to her. I really, because I know that she's lacking, right? And she says, okay, fine. She would go. So she just has to go to a church, a church around her area. Now, so um, I think some days back, I was asking her, um, how about the church? I was like, mm, she's there, Joe. I'm like, do you like this church? She says, no. I said, why are you going there? She said, because she's just fulfilling all righteousness. Because to, according to her, all churches are the same. I said, how can you say all churches are the same. One. Secondly, how can you say you are going to church to fulfill all righteousness? In your life right now, what you need is, is, is the power of God to be made, you know, manifest in your life. You need the power. You need work. Like, you need, what you need is help. 
what that person her mind is dark so i began to pray that her mind opens that god sends light to illuminate her mind her her mind needs to see if you whatever it is that you're doing before you do anything you need the light of god to shine in your inside so pray today that the light comes even god listen even god god almighty wants to create something and the first thing he turns on is light he didn't only turn on light too. He spoke it and said, let there be light. And there was light. And see, the Bible gives us an expo. What's the expo? The Bible says that we are created in the image and likeness of God. If you don't even understand what that means, Jesus now goes on to say, greater things than I have done shall you do. So that means you have in you the power to decree a thing and it will come to pass do you understand so you need to decree and say today i decree that the light of god comes jesus now goes on to say that any if you ask you will receive if you seek you'll find if you knock you will open so that means you have you, you are supposed to be seeking you are supposed now how are you seeking by finding this video you found this video because i don't know how, however you found this video is an act of seeking However, you clicked on this video is an act of seeking. Now you have to say, next thing is to ask. Ask God. Now let's ask God. God, we're asking for your light to come into our lives right now, to illuminate our mind, to open our mind. We need your light in our heart. We need your light in our mind. Help us to see. What does light do? When people see um 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 in impossibilities, yeah, you see possibility. I can be there's this um YouTuber. I'm watching and every time this you she just she's always complaining about something like she does I don't know she's she she must she's either really possessed and I'm I mean I mean yeah or just just just, just something if at effect working in her life and the more I've been watching her the more I said okay you know what I know my next video on my vlog channel talk to your homie vlog I, I have a segment where I just talk to ladies on what they need to do to live better life we share like lady like things and I know the video to create because when I'm watching her that video I have the light of God in me the light of God comes and illuminates my mind it shows me opportunities so me and you and you, me, you and I can watch something I'm saying okay this is the, this is what I'm going to create because I've watched this video you might not see it you might not because I have the light so the light of God comes and gives you opportunity light of God directs you on what to do even God Almighty when the light came then he now knew that okay now I, I now want sky i want to now divide the earth you know he began to say that and let me just tell you because i'm 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 one mind is saying read read more but another mind is saying let the let god just flow now i want to allow god flow because this is really god's platform and i told you he wants to help you i'll be perfect let's talk about that what god wants you to learn you know when people say the new testament believers the old testament believers say I want to teach you something today. You're not a New Testament believer or an Old Testament believer. You are just a believer in God Almighty. And you're a believer in Christ Jesus, right? Because, you see this Bible, hmm? This Bible is written hmm? for your benefit, right? And I, I'll tell you today the difference between the Old and the New Testament today. But, let's see. Okay, so God created, and, 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 and look at it, God knew exactly what to do. That is the, 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 the especially Genesis, this one I'm reading right now, you know, as a child of God, hmm, there's, there, there's a level at which we are supposed to be operating on. Look at the level that your father, the person whom you were created in his image and likeness was operating on, creativity innovation imagine him imagine god actually you know creating the creating light you know creating light now um where's that part he saw the light was good and pleasing and useful useful he, he, he's, he's creating solutions that are useful you're supposed to be creating solutions that are useful in your in your company in your home in your family in your country in your continent in the world that's that is the 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 pattern you know by which you were created you're supposed to be creating useful solutions that is because we're a child of god and you were created in his image and likeness and look at what the person whom you were created like 
was doing. He saw that the light was useful and pleasant and he affirmed and sustained it. You're supposed to have the ability to affirm it. Let me tell you, I, I went through depression in my life, right? And I, and, and it was, it was a bad time. I struggled with everything. And right now my life is going better, really better than it was before. And, but every time I want to worship God and just pray and something, the devil comes to me in my, I literally am praying. And the devil starts to remind me of him. Hmm, remember that your depression time. Remember how you lived in lack. Remember that time oh, you struggled. Hmm. You are thinking, thanking God. What if it happens again? Will you be able to sustain? Will you be able to imagine? So when I'm praying, this thought starts coming to my mind. I don't know. Today I found the solution. Listen, the Bible says when God created the light, I saw that it was good and pleasing and useful. He affirmed and sustained it. So you as a child of God has the power to affirm the state that you're living in right now. I have the power to say, ah, because I know that God affirmed, he created, he affirmed, he sustained it. I decree that in my life, these states, you know, the, the um, 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 I will never go back into depression. I will never experience lack in my life. In the name of Jesus, I affirm it today that in my life, my livelihood, the standard of, li the standard of living I'm living right now will be the least I will ever live and live on in the name of Jesus. I will never go below this because you have the power to sustain and affirm that which you that which you're creating. That's the kind of that's the child you are. That's the creation you are. You know and he affirmed okay let's move on. He called did he called light day called darkness light and there was evening and there was morning and the first day see you now God creates um sky the expanse you know um um me, um, sorry, he creates sky to separate the waters above and the waters below. And God created the expanse of sky and separated the waters under and the waters below. Okay, and it was so, and it was so. He spoke, he created just by speaking, and it became so, mm -hmm. just as he commanded. And God called the expanse. So basically, you see. I told you I want to read, but God wants to flow. You know, there's a level eh, of oppression that you as a child of God should be operating on. But let me tell you why you're not operating on that. Eh? Not putting on that because you don't know. Hmm? Your life has not been filled. The Bible says that God is the one that knows the end from the beginning. So at the point where he was still creating all these things, he knew that there will be a time where John will be given the revelation of what is to come. He knew that there will be a time that he will send his son Jesus to come in his stead, to come and liberate us. He knew that there will be a time when he would have Noah build an ark. He knew that there was a possibility that man will, 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 will um, what's it called now, deviate from the plan. That's why God came and says that if you don't praise him, if you don't praise me, God is saying, I will raise up stones to praise me. There, there are options, options for if you, if you don't follow the pattern. He knew. So if he knew, eh, you as a child of God, before you begin to operate, and I told you, this is still on our point where you are not an Old Testament or New, or New Testament believer. You are just a believer in God. You need to read the Bible. Why? Because this Bible eh, is written to give you all that you need to be able to decree a thing and it will come to pass. To be able to um, create something out of nothing. To be able to have wisdom, the kind of, and pray for wisdom too. Look at the kind of wisdom your father, you know, is operating on. He creates something. He knows exactly what to call it. He knows what next to create. He sees nothing. Out of nothing, he's creating. You, the, the, and, and, and pray, I, I, I receive the wisdom of God to, that, you know, to direct my path. The Bible says wisdom is profitable to direct. What does that mean? The reason we have wisdom is for direction. So I received the wisdom of God to direct my path to do the right things, to say the right things, to go to the right places in the name of Jesus. But you know, so as a child of God, you have, you have access to such a life. But you need to read the Bible to know to, to know how to position your life. And you see, the, the, the topic of grace is, is a topic that I struggled with a lot. Because somehow they make them, they, they, you know, some pastors make you believe that because grace has come, you can't you can sin. You know, let me tell you what the devil 
does to believers listen the devil comes to a believer's life now yeah and starts to tempt the believer and starts to tempt the believer at an early age so a young person a newborn baby right um, um just starts to lie you're like ah why are you lying just tell me you don't even understand why you know the de so 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 you bet the devil tempts them there are a lot of things happening right now in the world yeah but what did they and and yes grace comes when grace comes god has forgiven you god, god does not judge you you know because of your acts he looks at you in christ jesus yes but for you and your oppression on earth eh, as you are seeing eh, you are cutting the time short because we are still there dealing with forgiveness god forgive me god do i'm sorry you know your time, like, you are not supposed to be operating in that. It took Jesus three years to do the amazing thing, to die, to liberate the world. Three years. Right? But the devil will not come and start to distract you. All these things, sin, hmm? at any level, is distraction. Lying is distraction. Whatever it is, because you are not supposed to be, you're supposed to do great things. Before you begin to walk in this state of creating, decreeing, seeing, wisdom, knowledge, you get me? You're supposed to be able to move out of the hold and the hook of the devil. And that's why Jesus, loving us so much, gave us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is supposed to now come and help us to live life. He said what? He will guide you in all truth. When you want to lie, the Holy Spirit will say, no, 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 don't lie. Because that is what is stopping us believers. That's what is, that is like what is stopping us believers. We don't, you know, we're still, you are still dealing, you are still on, elementary level because the devil knows that if he leaves you huh, to operate in your full operation you understand the things that will happen in your life we, 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 as in even you you'll be amazed the kind of the way you'll be operating the things that you'll be doing the things that you'll be saying will amaze you so he comes to come and distract you all these things are distractions i'm telling you they really are distractions when i moved from, um, in my depression time, I was living on the island. Ha 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 ha. When I left the island, eh, I went back to my mother's house. I was obviously like, oh my God, I thought I'd failed. I have failed, I failed. But God needed to put me in a position where I was not distracted at all. He needed to put me in a position where I didn't, I, I, I couldn't even afford, like, I needed to buy fail every single day in my mother's house for me to be able to walk if i time i buy fail today buy fail tomorrow buy fail tomorrow i don't have the money to just go to the island and go and flex no you know so he, he needed to take away the voices that the voices i was hearing and fix me to focus on the cause children of god we need to focus on the cause the devil is coming to distract you to shorten your time what should have taken you a year to achieve is taking you five years to achieve what should have taken you a month to achieve is taking you a year two years to achieve because you are distracted jesus the place that say, pre -spirit, that preach grace right did not come and live in sin and say no my father has grace we're supposed to look at jesus's life right and, and so let let me just and really because there's more but i really need to wrap it up somehow with why you are not new testament or old testament believers why because the blessings look at it men fell hmm? in fact before god had such plan for man such like man was supposed to be like greatness personified right you know creative speaking wisdom sight you know and then before man could begin to experience all that man fell how did man fall and and, and 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 it's funny how oh i'm going to flow whatever it's funny how i used to think like the biggest one i don't want to ever um commit what's it called i don't want to ever commit um fornication adultery it's not even all those things that was was the follow what was the fall deceit obedience a bit disobedience Doing what God said they should not do. Every time you, you every time you know what you're supposed to do, and the devil convinces you to do what you're not supposed to do, you're falling. You're falling, right? So man fell. As man fell, now things start to happen. Man literally gives the authority to the devil. Alright, the devil felt like he could do some tricks, right? You know, so 
even in that fallen state, God's blessings were still flowing on man. The Old Testament. God's wisdom was still flowing. God was still telling man, this is what I have in store for you. This is what I plan to do for you. This is what I can do for you. Look, I did this for you. I passed the sea for you. I gave you bread to eat. I gave you manna to eat. His blessings were still there. Eh? So that means you as a child of God have access to all the blessings that God has in store for man, whether it is in the old or it is in the new. The difference is now that Jesus now came to now say, fine, now I liberate you from the curse of the law. That thing that Adam did that made you fall, I have come to liberate you, I have shed my blood. So the difference is just that we are on a higher plane, right? But it doesn't mean that I am not a, an Old Testament believer. No, 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 because the Old Testament shows you the wonders of God, what God did for people, what God did for a nation, how men fell and God will forgive them. Do you understand? That is the difference between the old and the new. Sin just keeps you stuck. God wants you to stand up. God wants you to step up. God wants you to see his initial design for your life. God wants you to see. God wants your eyes to be open. God wants your mind to be open. God wants the spirit to move. Do you welcome the spirit into your life? Before you begin your day, do you welcome the Holy Spirit to move? Hey, wherever I'm going to, Holy Spirit move. If I want to go to the hospital, Holy Spirit move. Move in that hospital. Move in that environment. Move in that room. Move in that meeting. Move in my office. <laughs> move. I had an experience where I was working in a place where I knew that witches were operating, they had to have been witches because the way they used to attack me, they were attacking me, but none of their attack worked, none. It can't work. How can it work? When I'm telling the Holy Spirit to move, when I'm working with the Holy Spirit, how? <laughs> there, was, there was one time in the, in the and, and I'm going, I'm really going to end here. There was one time in the, you know, in the hospital, uh, in the office rather, I was, I was in the kitchen, I'd be in the lunchroom, I was eating, and they were co um, accumulating every, everyone's sales, right? And they were, they imagine. They, because they want, they did not work. Because in my office then, they used to give us prorated salary. So um, if you don't meet up to this percentage of your of your sales, they will cut your salary. And they did not, they did not ask me how much I have done. Hmm? Because so they, they just picked figures and just put for me. And somebody who I wasn't talking to comes to the kitchen, a bit lunchroom. We call the kitchen then. Sees me there and says, "Go to the office. They are calculating sales, and your sales are not there." I wasn't talking to this person. I get up as I, as I get up like this and I step into the office. They say, Ah, oh, oh me, sorry. Oh. I'm just looking. I say, you could tell that, oh, how did this girl know? Ah, we know because the Holy Spirit is working with me. And I gave them my sales. I say, they, they, they gave me like how many percentage less of what I've done. The, the Holy Spirit needs to move. That's the kind of life. That's the way you need to operate as a child of God. Uh, today, choose, first of all, to go to a Bible-believing church. And pick up a Bible and read. If the Bible is boring, say, God, help me. Give me the hunger to read your word. Go, go, on, go on YouTube and type, why can't I read the Bible? What my prayer life code? You begin to see options, options of, of videos that will empower you because the, the, the difference, but what is separating you from your greatness is, 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 is the level of knowledge that you know about yourself. How can you know about yourself? You have to study the person who created you and all that he has said for you, you know, to live and how he has programmed your life. And my dear, look at it. It's all here. It's all in the Bible. The Bible has examples of lives, people that made mistakes, people that succeeded, Solomon, David. David, Moses, John, you get me? Even the ones that failed, the kings that Saul. You will see and see, okay, this was their mistake. This is what I'm doing in my life. Let me stop it today. I'm gonna to stop here. I told you I could not, I could, I could not finish. I, I I just knew that nah, this is more than just me. You get me? Yes, man. My face looks I, I don't care. Anyways, anyways, anyways. God, we have let's pray. Our Father and our Lord, we have shared your word today 
I pray that your word, this word is a seed in the heart and the mind of the person listening to it right now. That it goes in and begins to germinate. That it goes in and begins to just, you know, grow into wisdom and knowledge and understanding and guidance, oh God. That their life begins to take a different turn because of the entering and entrance of this word in their life in the name of Jesus. I pray that the change that you know they need in their life, they receive it right now, I pray. That you begin to illuminate the mind of this one that the way the person or this person has been experiencing darkness the person starts to see in the name of jesus god almighty have your way great god that you are we just bow before your throne holy spirit move move control our affairs today in the name of jesus we pray thank you my father for prayer and as we give you all glory we exalt your precious name thank you god for answering our prayers in the name of jesus we pray Amen. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, you know the drill. How what is the drill? Send me a mail, um, pennywise1 at gmail.com or just talk to me in the comment section, really. In fact, I think we should the mail is for you have you have any like personal questions you want to ask, but it's easier to just go down in the comment and just talk to me. Yeah. And I love you, but God God loves you more. That's why he brought this message to you today. Bye-bye.